In this video, we'll discuss how to upload DBT Cloud Artifacts to Amazon S3. Let's dive in. We're jumping into Shipyard for this one. Uh, we want to go ahead and search for our DBT Cloud Blueprints. Um, and you can see that we have a blueprint called Download Logs and Artifacts. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click that. Uh, that's going to pop up an authorization guide, as well as some information on where to find your logs and artifacts that we'll reference later on in this video. Uh, but if it's your first time using DBT Cloud inside of Shipyard, I would go ahead and click the DBT Cloud authorization guide there. Um, and that will get you, help you get started with Shipyard and DBT Cloud together. I'm going to close that for right now. Um, name of vessel, download DBT Cloud Artifacts, since we're working with the artifacts in this video. Okay, so for this, we just need our service token. Here, our account ID. Um, and you can see under run ID, it says if left blank, we'll try to find the run ID from the execute job upstream. And generally in a normal workflow with DBT Cloud, you would usually execute your job, check the job status, and then download your logs and artifacts. Uh, but since we're just doing a simple A to B solution here, uh, we're gonna go back and look at a previous run. But if you were connecting it to a run that you were executing currently, it would grab that information from it. Um, so I'm gonna go to DBT Cloud and I'm gonna grab this run ID from the top, this URL. Uh, so this is the artifacts. This is where we're going to grab the logs and artifacts from, from this specific run. Uh, go back to Shipyard to put the run ID in there. Um, so now this vessel is good to go. Um, so it's important to note inside of Shipyard that we do have email notifications so that if your fleet um, errors or if it's a completion of an on-demand run, uh, it'll send an email to you telling you that information. Um, and you can add as many emails there as you would like. Um, and we also have guardrails for the number of retries, the time between retries. Um, and runtime cutoff as well to kind of protect your fleet from uh, from going against any of those rules that you want to set for those. Um, so now our, our first vessel is complete here. So we're going to download the artifacts from DBT Cloud. Um, so now we need to set up an art, or a vessel for Amazon S3. So we have upload files here. Again, there's that authorization guide if, if it's your first time with S3 in Shipyard. So upload DBT artifacts for the vessel name here. Um, and again, the rest of this is just going to be your S3 information. So our bucket name is Shipyard Solutions Internal. We did not put the folder. Or we did actually. I'm sorry. So the, the folder, and that's what was referenced in the authorization guide earlier, um, is shipyard-artifacts backslash dbt cloud-blueprints backslash artifacts. So every single time you download uh, artifacts and logs using Shipyard, that's where your artifacts are going to be placed inside of Shipyard in our file system. Um, and so we want to do a regex match this time because there's multiple artifacts. Um, so we're going to grab all of them that have a .json um, file type. Um, so we can do that using dot plus dot .json. So it's going to grab every file with a .json extension. Um, we want to put them in our S3 folder called dbt video logs here. I'm just going to copy that. Uh, we'll leave the S3 file name blank because we just want them to keep the file name they had from DBT. Uh, and then we need our access key ID for S3, our secret access key. We're in the West 2 region. We don't have any extra variables. <clears throat> so now this is good to run. Um, so now looking at our fleet one more time uh, before we name it. So the first vessel is going to download the DBT Cloud artifacts from that from that uh, prior run. If that download is successful, then we will upload all of the .json extension artifacts from DBT. Um, so let's name this. So we're going to do DBT Cloud to Amazon S3 and artifacts. Okay, so now we can click save and finish here. Um, so when I click save and finish, this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully, as you see here, and then we can click run your fleet. So when we click run your fleet inside a shipyard, it's going to schedule the fleet to run immediately. Inside a shipyard, we call this an on-demand run. Um, so anywhere you see that in on the shipyard application or in our documentation, on-demand run, that's what it's referencing. Um, and you can start an on-demand run by clicking the purple run now button in the top right-hand corner of... Um, of, of any fleet build, like of any fleet page that you're working with a fleet. So there's two other ways to start a run and a fleet run inside of shipyard using our triggers tab here. Uh, so we have a scheduling trigger where you can schedule based on timing of when you want the fleet to run. Um, and then we also have a, an API trigger where you can programmatically kick off any fleet run that you would like as well. 
Um, so you can see whenever you start an on-demand run, it's going to take you over to the fleet log where you get a live out a live view of what's happening with your fleet run. So you can see our first vessel is already completed. I can click into that. Um, you can see up here in the top what we set, along with the fact that the API key, since it's a secret, is hidden in the log. So if you export these logs, um, or if anyone just logs into uh, your organization's shipyard account, they can't just come in and see your API key. Um, and then you can see the output from DBT and all the files that were downloaded from that uh, logs and artifacts blueprint. Uh, if I go back to the fleet log, you can see that the, up the upload to S3 is already finished. So if I go into S3, I should be able to refresh this page and we'll be able to see there is our catalog.json, our manifest.json, and our run results.json. Um, so those are all of the .json artifacts from your DBT run. Um, so in this video, we discussed how to download logs and artifacts from DBT Cloud and then upload those artifacts into Amazon S3. If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.